we're back in business <laughs> welcome to the Sunday shave uh, glasses on you'll have to excuse me in this shave there's a fly or a moth out my wallet I've got a bit of a head cold I may look or sound worse than I feel but uh, I may have to cut to blow my nose and stuff like that but I didn't want to not make a shave video because I enjoy making them it's nice to see you have a chat so uh, I've got a little friend today this is Saturday evening as I film this so I'm not uh, drinking this at 7 a.m. That is a 10 year old Glen Farkless, Glen Farkless single malt whiskey. And it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful sweetness to it. Oh, yes, nice. That should help me along. <laughs> right, someone asked in the comments could you use the fat tip or the fat teep? As I suppose it should be pronounced. And there we are, that's the fatty. This is the piccolo. This is the heavier. There's piccolo and there's the grand. Grand is a hollow handle, this is a solid handle. Three piece, open comb, aggressive. Uh, and in there, I've got the feather second use. Feather and a aggressive razor, two things I don't usually mix, but we're going to have a go today. Uh, we're going to use the PAA, the Cube 2. This is the non-menthol version, I should say, there, as a pre-shave. Um, good old palm olive shaving cream with palm extract. I've got a blob in my bowl there. So it's going to be a fairly simple shave, just while I'm... I've got some new, a new razor, a few new blades which I've had a while, but I've not used, but I want to use. Uh, so some odds and ends to use, uh, but I'll use them when I'm back functioning. My when my snout is working properly. <laughs> um, so where should we start? We'll start by wetting the face. Right. Oh, I'm going to use the Paul H Films brush as well. So we'll wet the cube. Here we go. Enough about me, how are you doing? I tell you, nobody'd uh, argue with, a, with you with this in your hand, I tell you. Non scented this. It's good stuff. There you go, you look like proper stubble now. See how it's darkened the... <laughs> Good fun. We'll leave it on. And then we'll proceed to lather up the old palm olive. I've not used this for a long, long time. Nice to go back. Yeah, I started out with a bit of a, a groggy throat. There was something going around, a few in work had it. And uh, it's only yesterday this started to throat okay now, but it's turned into my, well, a nose cold, I call it, because it's just continuously running. So I wish it'd run and go somewhere else, but uh, this is the Paul H Films brush there. And this is the uh, Cashmere Synthetic Knot. I hope you're in good health. I truly do. That whiskey doesn't have help. Right, here we go. Well, I can, I can still manage to smell palm olive slightly. How's the week been for you? Good one? I hope so. That's a thick you need good protection with this razor, especially with a feather. This is a thick lather. We'll just add a bit of wetness to it. Not much. I do like a thick lather. There we go. So here we go. And with me.
There we go. Glasses on. There we go. Heat the razor. Heat the steel. And off we go. Aggressive razor. Fatip Piccolo. Takes no prisoners. Shaves right through the whiskers, this. So, what's on the menu for your shaves today? Probably look like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I will do. If it carries on. Yeah, I'm not a whiskey drinker really, um, but this is beautiful stuff. Well, it would be when a single malt. You can see how thick this is, see how it cracks. Good slickness on the old cube, help from the cube. And Amanda. And Stephen, if you're watching, I hope you had a good birthday, Amanda. I did see in the comments. I hope you had a good, uh, good day. I think it was last Saturday, was it? Saturday or Sunday. Oh, look. That's a good first pass. Right. Okay. Someone asked another question. Oh, that's lovely and slick. Wow. Why are you always it <laughs> made why are you always sweating? I think it's on this channel. Why are you always sweating? I may have mentioned it a few times. This house, I've never known a house like it for retaining heat. So even if it's not as warm outside, it is in here, especially upstairs, because heat rises. So, And I'm not a hot, what can I put, I prefer colder weather. I like the heat in the summer, but I'm more of a cold weather person, so I have the windows open most of the year. Uh, my room there, in the, where the computer is, isn't it? on a latch. Uh, so it's always a breeze and so closed rooms and if the heating's on it uh, gets quite hot so that's why uh, there's no specific medical reason for it another reason i might do is if i'm eating a hot curry or if i'm using a very very aggressive razor and i'm nervous <laughs> second nice old palm olive cream you know Some people reckon the scent on the cream is different to the soap. I don't get it. It's exactly the same scent for me, palm olive, cream or soap. The the cream is easier to use, obviously. But, uh... Right. Bear with while I just uh, blow the nose. Excuse me. Right, we're back. Yeah. Um, touch wood, I don't get a cold very often. 
Cheers. I wish you could smell the aroma of this. If you like wh whiskey, as you should say. Oh, beautiful. Medicinal purposes. Honestly, doctor. Okay, keep the razor back. Fatip Piccolo, second pass across the growth. There is a slight overhang on this razor, but very slight. Using the feather blade anyway. Performing very nicely. Yeah, we've had a... Yesterday, Friday, because as I say, it's Saturday evening as I film this. Um, God, the wind and rain. There was more rain I've never seen. I think it's the wettest October. Someone said on, on record because of that day's rain. Came down in sheets, as they say. Yeah, it's a fairly, only a small razor, but it's got a bite to it. I always feel better shaving. Well, I hope you can't catch this, can you, through the screen? <laughs> Help not. Wow, that's nice. Nice. Fair play, the palm olive has a good, good slickness to it, but uh, this cube is fantastic. You know, I tried it as a with a less slick soap when I first used this to try this, because it stated when you applied it once, it would last you through the three passes. I'm quite true it is. It did, it did last. So I can still feel a very good slickness now. And. Uh, we jolly well go. Okay. I'll put back. Bit more wet. Right. Sunday dinner, still gonna go ahead. Um, I'm doing roast potatoes. So it'll be fluffy inside, crisp on the outside, salted, sea salt, carrots, um, I've got a medley of cabbage, which is uh, all the cabbage varieties, uh, a sand, it's sort of a bag full of each one, if you like, uh, uh, all the, all the um, different cabbages, slices of each medley of cabbages and um, carrots, I've said, yeah, roast potatoes and lascentos of gravy. Just a little dot there. So that'd be nice. And I've got some Cornish cider, which I'm gonna have um, with it. It's, uh, Doesn't feel as a, as aggressive as I thought it would with this feather, although it is biting a bit. So the aggression is there. Now 
Now you would think, hey, why aren't you using a menthol shave, Paul? Right, well I didn't because it's it's not a head cold, it's my nose and menthol fumes will make, I was afraid of it making it run more and it would mess up the video. If I'm not filming, it's okay. But uh, I'll use menthol again. But uh, nice. It is nice when you've got a cold or when it's summer. God, that's bitten a few times here. So the fatty piccolo and the grand, excuse me. Sorry, I have to reapply that. Yeah, the fatty piccolo and the grand are exactly the same head. So it wouldn't matter which one you bought for the head size, but it's the handle. Piccolo is heavy, solid. The grand is hollow, just in case. So if you like a lighter razor, you go for the grand. You up to much this weekend then? As always, if you're working, many thanks for your service. And uh, in whatever sector you're working. Wow. Okay. You know what time it is now? That was good. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. There we go. Oh, and there. It's bitten. It's bitten. Once bitten, twice shy. Fair play, there's not a lot left. Oh, it has a... That will do, I think. Cold water rinse. Oh, that's nice. And I think we'll attack it with the alum. Because there's a few, uh, there's a few uh, clarets showing. Hopefully. That'll help it. On its way. Lovely. Rinse that off after. The um, alum. Very nice. Yeah, you don't, uh, obviously, when you've got a cold or a head cold or something, it depends how severe it is, uh, but it does affect your shave, you don't, um, you do enjoy it, but it's not as if when you're in full faculties, shall we say. <laughs> I 
But uh, I do feel better for shaving. It's always worth the effort. So I'm going to use some Thayer's as well. Thayer's lavender. We've got lavender there, haven't we? Sprays up, I think. So if you're home or are you going out for lunch, family, you cooking, what you're shaving with. Right, this is going to kick me now. So just bear with me. Okay, I'm back. The Osage or Osage Rub, Osage Rub. This is the st strongest menthol aftershave I've got. It's green in colour and it's very strong. It's like rubbing your face with Vicks. Oh, ho, 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 that fumes. Marvellous. Holy smoke. It's like eating a hot chilli. Oh, that's nice. Hey. Bit of this as well, cheers. Oh, sweating out of you. Whew. There's nothing you've said, is there? And then uh, to put the, oh, that's nice. Put the protection back. Uh, Arco Extra Sensitive Palm. Well, that's handy, and it's just broke. Got a visitor. Some f fly. There we go. Alum or the septic pens, good isn't it? You see them dots here and sorted them out. So hopefully we'll be back on full engines on uh, Wednesday. But very enjoyable. So what have we used? I still can't see. Let's help with this then. We've used the Fatip Piccolo, three piece, non adjustable, um, open comb with a feather, second use, then we're steaming up, that's no good. Feather, um, worked really well. We got down to claret, so you can't get no closer than blood. We've used the PAA Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Cube 2 pre shave, excellent, non scented, non menthol, that one. Good stuff. We've used my own brush, Paul H. Films brush. Cashmere Synthetic, my own bowl, good old palm olive, shaving cream, and uh, I've said the feather, we rinsed off, used a bit of alum, uh, we used some Thayer's Lavender, some Osage Rub, aftershave, that's uh, strong stuff, and as I say, this uh, Arco Extra Sensitive, and that is it, that is it. So, many thanks. Hope you don't catch the cold. Hope you stay healthy and happy through the weekend and the start of next week till I see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. And hopefully, as I say, we'll be back to full function and I will have sweated this thing out and this will help. So cheers and I'll see you in the midweek shave. All the best. <laughs>